What's going on, everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prob, and we're actually in my workshop today for uh, a Drew Estate Tobacco and Tech Tip Sunday, powered by Monster Energy Rehab. I'm actually assembling bleed tools. I have hundreds upon hundreds of these to assemble today, um, so I figure I'd get uh, get at it early in this morning. Um, a lot of people this week and last week. Um, I, I think a lot of people are taking trip. I mean, it's summertime. We were going on vacation. Um, we're getting a lot of uh, people coming in. Hey, I need a wheel alignment. I need a wheel alignment. If you come in with anything, anything at all, you need to, if, if they're not asking you, hey, what's going on with your car? You need to let them know. You need to say, hey, I need to have a wheel alignment. I'm getting a vehicle. I'm, my, my vehicle is pulling. My vehicle, because the salesman... Um, uh, and sales women, sales associates, sometimes they're not going to ask. And then when I get the ticket, I gotta go, Hey, they're, they're here for an alignment. What's the complaint? I don't know. They just said they want an alignment. You got to ask consumers don't know what they want and they don't know what causes what. So that's what we're going to talk to you about today. Um, the latest one was just yesterday. A young lady comes in. Um, and then I'm behind the counter. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, go to enter, uh, input my tickets. We're a little shorthanded. So I help out the front counter staff in, um, finishing it up and, uh, and putting all the, uh, the tech specs and everything. But, uh, I overheard, um, the tail end of their conversation. You know, she was dropping it off for an alignment. He's like, yeah, the alignment rack's free. You know, we'll get you right up. And I'm like, Hey, what's the, uh, the, the, the complaint, you know, before, before I get into this. And she's like, Oh, you know, 70 mile an hour on the highway. My vehicle's shaking real bad, steering wheel shaking. And I'm like, here we go. Salesman should have said something. Um, but he wouldn't have known anyways. But uh, And I go, well, I go, to be honest, ma'am, that has nothing to do with your alignment. Oh, really? Yes. Most likely you have a tire out of balance or you got a bad tire, something going on with your tires. If your car only vibrates between a certain speed... So generally it's 45, I think we've talked about this before, 45 and 55, and they, then again at like 70 to 77. So if it's only um, uh, those speeds, like 45, that's like the natural harmonics of a car, you know, so everything, you know, if it's going to vibrate, it's going to vibrate at that speed. But if it's just a vibration that's there and goes away, almost 99% of the time, it's going to be a tire, uh, a vibration that continues um, through speeds or multiple speeds comes and goes might be something else wrong with the car control arms ball joints tie rods something like that but it's generally always going to be a tire balance um, so and then just the opposite of that people come in for a tire balance and then we won't find anything wrong and like oh, all the tires seem to be good not me because I ask ahead of time but other techs especially the new guys um, you know, I, I didn't find anything wrong. Uh, um, and then the customer's like, yeah, it's weird. It just, I, I don't know. It's just so strange because it's pulling to one side and they'd be like, oh, that's not a tire balance. That's an alignment issue or a suspension issue. Um, alignments, we've talked about this before. Alignments don't necessarily make your car go straight. My only job goal for, for an alignment is to bring it within manufacturer specified guidelines, all of your suspension components. If it goes straight afterwards, that's a perk of the alignment. That's not what an alignment actually does. Helps prevent wear on the tires, helps you steer more easily. When you turn your wheel all the way and you let go and it comes back and it generally goes straight, that's part of the alignment, that's your caster. So that's my only goal. If it goes straight afterwards, that's a perk. That's not always a guarantee. Um, so, so we got got the lady in, got got her, you know, um, a balanced stuff. Found a couple of bad tires, and we, you know, we ended up recommending because they were like at four thirty seconds five. So she ended up buying a new set of tires, and and we're good to go. Um, if you're having a tire balance issue, and we've seen this because they bring it to me, um, and it's been in a couple of shops. Um, and everybody keeps saying, tires are balanced. They're, look at the machine. Look at the machine. The machine tells me zero, zero. Um, we've talked about this before. 
there is a thing called a road force balancer. You need to be asking, did you road force balance my tires? If they did not, ask them, do you have a road force balancer? If they do not, call around and find a shop that has a road force balancer. We just uh, mounted a set of tires like two weeks ago. Um, customer ordered them from Tire Rack. Didn't save any money because he ended up getting, you know, I road force balance all tires, you know, um, uh, that, that I mount. But uh, um, brought them in, mounted up his own tires, road force balanced them. Um, and they road force balance off. It. This means it's like a big drum that comes down as the tire is spinning, and then it puts pressure on that tire to simulate driving down the road. And then there are sensors within there that detect anomalies inside the tire. We have like a little laser that comes out and shoots it on the rim to measure the run out of the rim to make sure the rim's not bent. And sometimes you'll get a high spot of a tire, low spot of the rim. Nothing wrong with the tire. Nothing wrong with the rim. Um, and then the machine will say, hey, it's balance, it's road force too high. Like, you you know, your matching is out. So if you break it down and it'll tell me where to mark the rim, where to mark the tire, I'll break it down. I'll rotate those two until those, those marks line up and then rebalance it most of the time. It'll come within spec. Sometimes it tells us match balancing will not bring this tire into specification generally means there's something internally wrong with the tire. So he ordered them tire rack. They, you know, road forced super high, not, not match balancing isn't going to work. So I'm like, nothing I can do. I mean, you're, you, you've already paid me to, to, to mount them up. And if you, if you want, you know, and that's the, the thing when you buy tires from somewhere else, it's just, you're, you're paying again and again. So he's like, all right, I'll just leave it. See how it is. Comes back like a week later. Can we try balance them again? It's it's bad. You got to pay for it again. They're not my tires. He's a little upset. I'm like, you didn't buy them from me. I told you at the beginning. So he paid another like 60 bucks to have them balanced. Told him the road force did not get any better. So now he had to switch, switch tires out. Tire rack sent four new tires. Now he's got to pay to have this whole process started over again. When he should have just bought the tires for me to begin with. Now he's end up he's going to be a couple hundred dollars, you know. Well, no, I, I, yeah, he'll he'll still save money if he if he got them from me. He will think they're getting a good deal online, but they're but they're not, you know, in some situations. So yeah, he um um yeah he's regretting buying them uh, uh, online. But the going back, if you if you've had it several tire shops and they say your tires are fine. Your tires are fine. If they're not road force balancing them, um, you you don't know. Because I said, I, I can't tell you how many times people in, in the area, other tire shops sent, sent them, hey, go see Kevin. We don't have a, t uh, a road force balancer. He does. Tires Plus does. I don't ha I don't have it personally. And then um, I'll find I'll find an issue, you know, and, and then we'll, we'll correct it, either match balancing it. Or sometimes if a tire road force excessive, Time will help, you know, a couple weeks, month, month and a half, whatever, it will help. So finding that tire that is excessive, my machine also tells me if I, if I ask it to, um, I think I'm the only one in the shop that actually knows this or cares, but, um, I'll tell the machine, Hey, we're, we're going to do, um, I, I want to know on the car where these are going to go afterwards. So I will road force all four of them and the machine keeps track of, all the, the limits and everything else. And then I hit a button afterwards. It does those calculations and it tells me on the car where to put these. And I have two parameters. I say, Hey, either for the less pull or the least vibration. Um, so I'll put least vibration. If there's a tire that road forced uh, high, generally it's going to go on the passenger rear because you're sitting in the driver front and you're not going to notice it. Um, and then there have been times where after a, a, a next amount of driving, shaving off the tires a little bit you know as you're driving they get you know rubber gets used up and that they've come within spec or they do a lot better so um yeah we're coming to the tail end of uh, 10 minutes we like to keep these under 10 minutes so yeah if you're if you're having a vibration issue ask for a tire balance if you're having a pull drift wander push that's an alignment alignment's not going to make your tires uh vibrate um uh, a bad tire out of balance isn't going to make your car pull one way or the other.
Peace.